Hello, and welcome to the Juniper Threat Labs attack demo series. Today's subject is the latest oil rig mango backdoor. In this video, we will demonstrate how this malicious advanced persistent threat, or APT group, is conducting a new campaign targeting organizations in the Middle East to install a backdoor on victim systems. Afterwards, we'll show you how Juniper customers are protected from this malware. Let's not waste any time. We'll begin by introducing you to the malicious threat actor, Oil Rig. Oil Rig, also known by various other names, including APT34 and Helix Kitten, is believed to be an Iranian threat group acting on behalf of the Iranian government. Oil Rig has been active since at least 2014, and they operate primarily but not exclusively in the Middle East, targeting organizations in that region. They have targeted various sectors, including financial, energy, chemical, and telecommunications, and they've attacked government-related targets as well. So how do they do it? Well, attacks attributed to the oil rig group primarily rely on social engineering to exploit the human rather than software vulnerabilities. Think phishing and spear phishing. On occasion, and typically after successfully exploiting earlier reconnaissance-related stages, this malicious threat actor has exploited recently patched vulnerabilities too, during the delivery phase of their attacks. In Oil Rig's most recent attack campaign, they targeted organizations in the Middle East via spear phishing emails. After breaching the victim's system, they deployed a backdoor known as Mango. During this campaign, Oil Rig infiltrated a legitimate Israeli job portal website, which they then used for command and control CNC communications. In the related demo that you're about to see, Mango is named Menorah.exe. Mango or Menorah is a primary or first stage backdoor. It's coded in C-sharp.net and is capable of exfiltrating data and utilizing native APIs and additional code for evading detection. The attack chain is as follows. It starts with a phishing email. That malicious email contains a document or link to a Word doc entitled mycv.doc. After the victim opens it and does what's requested, it then drops the Mango backdoor onto the victim's system. Again, in this latest case, the Mango backdoor dropped and running in the background is menorah.exe. The backdoor then starts communicating with its command and control server awaiting commands and instruction. What kind of commands through this malicious backdoor? Think shell commands, enumerating files, and uploading files to the command and control server. In other instances of this campaign, it uses a VBS script as the dropper for the Mango backdoor. In this other instance of the campaign, the malware installs browser data dumpers for Edge and Chrome, designed to exfiltrate data like cookies, browsing history, and credentials from these browsers. All right, with all the background info out of the way, let's jump in and start the attack simulation for this attack demo. Here we are on the unsuspecting victim system. She just received this email. As you can see, the email suggests there is an attachment, but there isn't. Instead, there is this malicious URL to download mycv.doc. Unaware that she's being phished, she clicks on the malicious URL. When the document is open, the Microsoft Office application prompts the user to enable content, effectively granting permission for macro scripts to execute. Once the user is deceived into clicking this prompt, the document reveals content seemingly aimed at an organization in Saudi Arabia, as evidenced by the presence of prices quoted in the Saudi Rial currency. Simultaneously, the malicious macro script installs the Mango backdoor in the background, running it as a process under the name Menorah. To ensure the persistence of the Mango backdoor, it establishes a scheduled task labeled OneDrive Standalone Updater configured to trigger execution every day at 11 a.m. Have a look at the path. Notice how Menorah is in the folder Office 356. All this is probably done in an attempt to go unnoticed, 
It's not clear that close but not quite folder name had the intended result. In any case, at this stage the Mango backdoor under the name Menorah establishes communication with the command and control server awaiting further instructions. Let's now look and see whether or not this attack works as successfully with the Juniper SRX firewall enhanced with protection from Juniper's cloud-based advanced anti-malware solution Juniper ATP. For the demo, Juniper Threat Labs is using the following setup. We have a VSRX pictured in the center. The VSRX is a virtual SRX firewall providing network security protection. Its purpose is to inspect network traffic and with the assistance of Juniper ATP Cloud to detect malware, like the oil rig Mango backdoor. In addition to the virtual firewall and cloud-based protections, we are using Juniper Security Director, which is a centralized management system. Security Director facilitates our configuring and monitoring of the VSRX firewall, and we're using Juniper's Policy Enforcer as well. Juniper's Policy Enforcer enforces security policies on endpoints and ensures they comply with corporate security standards. Pictured as well are several Windows workstations, each of which is connected to the VSRX. And finally, there's an Ubuntu server, which is acting as the malware download server. Before we proceed and run the Oil Rig Mango Backdoor attack simulation again, with protection provided this time by Juniper's connected security solutions, let's first take a look at the threat prevention policy that we've set up on our security director and applied to the VSRX firewall. To access the policy, we'll navigate to the Configure tab, and then we'll select Threat Prevention and Policies. As you can see, we already have an existing policy in place. Let's further inspect the protections being enforced by the applied policy. For this demo, our policy is configured to block command and control traffic at threat level 8 and above. We've also set it to block infected hosts at threat level 8 and above. Beyond that, we configured our policy to use ATP Cloud for malware detection. As you can see, we've elected to scan both HTTP downloads and email attachments. Finally, we've chosen to block any and all other threats rated at level 7 and above. This threat prevention policy applied to the Juniper VSRX firewall is a critical component of our defenses, protecting our systems against malware-related attacks, including oil rig Mango, backdoor malware. It allows us to detect and block malicious traffic, as well as the activity of potentially infected hosts which, in doing so, then prevents the spread of malware throughout our network in the event that one of our systems gets compromised. With that, let's proceed and demo the attack with our Juniper Connected Security Solutions in place. To get started, we'll log in via RDP as the would-be, but hopefully not the victim, user. As you can see, we have an email with a link to download mycv.doc. Clicking on that, the system opens the browser. But as you see is pictured on the screen, the attempt to open this malicious file has been blocked. The explanation given explains that this was due to malware being detected. For the purpose of this demo, we also included a link to download Menora. Recall, Menora is the Mango backdoor you saw earlier. Once again, Juniper's connected security solutions powered by Juniper ATP also blocks this attempt. Next, we can verify that these attempts were indeed blocked by Juniper. To do that, we go back to Security Director and we navigate to the Monitor tab. From there, we click on Threat Prevention, and then HTTP File Download. Here, Menorah, the most recent malicious URL to which we tried to navigate, is pictured on the first line, with a threat level of 10. On the second line, the file mycv.doc is similarly flagged with a threat level of 10. Recall from earlier how we had configured our policy to block malicious threats rated at level 7 and above. So, the enabled Juniper protections are working as expected. Next, we'll look at more details about the malware. To do that, we click on the mycv.doc hash link. Juniper's behavior analysis shows information about the malware gathered through sandboxing the file. And Juniper's network activity shows the malware attempts to communicate with a site at address tecforsc-001-site1.gtempurl.com, which is the Mango Backdoor Command and Control Server. Going back to HTTP File Download, we can also click on the Menorah Malware's hash link in Juniper Security Director. To find more details about this malware, including behavior analysis, network activity, and behavior details.
Note that while the attack was unsuccessful, recall that the security policy being enforced on the VSRX locks down host network activity when it detects threats at level 8 and above. Having just clicked on ATP Cloud Hosts, we can see that the IP address 10.0.2.16 is flagged at threat level 9. This host then is now included in the infected host's feed. What this means is that this host is now isolated and disconnected from the network temporarily until an administrator confirms that the host is free of infection. Juniper has a rich command line interface. For example, an administrator can verify through the SRX CLI console what hosts, if any, are listed in the infected host's feed in order to take swift action. Here you can see that the IP address 10.0.2.16 is in that list. Back on Security Director, under ATP Cloud Hosts, we can click on the affected host. In doing so, Juniper provides us with more details as to why it is blocked, which in this case is because the host attempted to download two malicious files with threat level 10. We can confirm that this host was disconnected as we can neither ping it nor connect to it via RDP as before. Once the administrator is certain that a host or server found in the infected host feed is indeed free from infection, she can get that device back online. In Security Director, there is more than a single way to do this. One of the ways is covered in several earlier videos. Another way is to go to ATP Cloud Hosts, select the checkbox to the left of the host or server in question, and then click the Set Investigation Status on the right to Resolved Fixed. Doing so changes the status of this host to clean, the result of which removes the host or server from the infected host's feed. As you can see, the device is now marked as excluded from this list, which is good news. Let's double check this, just because we can. Once again using the SRX's command line interface console. Notice that IP address 10.0.2.16 is no longer listed. After a few moments, this host will be connected back to the network again. We can verify that's the case by both pinging it and by reconnecting to it via RDP. Finally, for good measure, we'll make sure that this host can now browse the internet. That completes our demo of the Oil Rig Mango Backdoor. Check out more videos from the Juniper Threat Labs Attack Demo series by visiting juniper.net. Thanks for watching.